we can see at the top here that so base units are units like grams, meters. Seems like I'm missing one there. Liters. Liters, thank you. Uh, so a kilogram would be a thousand of the grams. Uh, deca meter would be ten meters. If we look to the right of the base units, over here like centa, centiliters would be, looks like a hundredth, because that one is in the hundredth place, a hundredth of a liter. Meaning you'd need a hundred of those just to make one liter. Okay. And then, of course, we've got these length and capacity and mass stuff, which is good. We need those as well. But again, we, we're looking at some base units there, grams, liters, and meters. Okay. So 32 meters. I'm going to show this in two ways. 32 meters to kilometers. Let's look at it the way we were just doing it. 32 meters. I want to change this into uh, kilometers. So I'll have meters in the denominator there. So it cancels with these meters. And we know that it takes a thousand meters for one kilometer because kilo is a thousand of those base units. So what we end up with is 32 divided by 100. I'm sorry, 1,000 in kilometers which is really just 32 thousandths, so as a decimal, we get 32 thousandths kilometers. That would be it for that one. But let's look at this in a different way. So we got 32 meters. What we want is kilometers. Well, how many uh, kilometers are, I'm sorry, how many meters in a kilometer? There's a thousand. So all we're doing is taking this decimal really yeah, and moving it one, two, three places, and we've got that placeholder there. Notice it's the same answer that we had up here. We've moved the decimal to the right. Uh, I'm sorry, the left. So let's look at, I think that's number three right there. Number three, 2.41 kilometers. So if I had 2.41 kilometers and I wanted to change it to meters, well, we know there's a thousand meters for every kilometer, so I'm taking I'm taking something um, big and I'm looking at the smaller units. So there's more smaller units, and that means that I'm gonna have to move this decimal to the right three places. So this ends up being two thousand four hundred and ten meters. Now again, we can look at this using the unit conversion stuff. Kilometers times something over kilometers, meters, there's a thousand meters for one kilometer. And again, the kilometers cancel out. 2.41 times a thousand is still 2,410 meters. So number two, this is grams and we want to change this to milligrams. There's a thousand milligrams for every one gram. So what this means is we're going to move this decimal to the right, however many zeros there are right here in this conversion. So I got 0 0.3. I'm going to move it three places because I got those three zeros. One, two, three. And that becomes 300 milligrams. Same thing with this centimeter stuff. So if we look at the chart, we have the base units. This one is in meters. Then we would have decimeters. I think it's DC meters. Then we got centimeters. And then we got millimeters. So here's the thing on this. If we're looking at centimeters like this, 1.4, see the millimeters is just to the right of it. And it's only to the right one, one place. So we're going to move this decimal one place to the right to make it millimeters, 14 millimeters. And we can look at this, we can expand this, right? One, I'm sorry, that was 1.4. This one will be 14. And to the left, that would have become 0 0.014 or 0 0.0014. And again, we're just moving that decimal to the left as we keep going to the left on the chart. 
So when we move the decimal, again, we have to figure out where they are in that chart. So we had kilometers. We had, what's the other? And we got hecto meters, decameters, meters, decimeters, and then centimeters. Notice, usually to the left of the base unit, those are capitalized. Those first, I guess the names of them, hecto and deca. And then to the right, there's lowercase, so decimeter and centimeters. Well, if this is 0 0.2 kilometers, then we got one, two, three, four, five places to the right that we got to move that decimal. One, two, three, four, five. We'll fill, fill in all the empty uh, place values with zeros, and we got 20,000. So 20,000 centimeters still isn't even a full kilometer. 0.2 kilometers. Converting something to the base unit or from the base unit to one of these other types of units is pretty simple. It's, hav it's having to know how far away, for example, like a milliliter is from a hectometer. Hectos, deca, and decimeters or units are not as common as kilos, centis, and millis, if that's how you want to see it. If you take four pills, each containing 350 milligrams, how many grams of medicine total have you taken? So there's a couple ways we can go about this. We can first figure out how many milligrams we've taken. And that would be four pills, each containing 350 milligrams. So uh, 350 times the four, 1,400. And this is in milligrams, right? So we want to change this to grams. So we got grams decagrams, centigrams, and then milligrams. So from milligrams, we have one, two, three places to the left to make this grams. So I'm going to move the decimal, one, two, three places to the left, which makes this 1.4 grams. Number 10, you have a rope 4 meters long and need to cut pieces 30 centimeters long. For an art project, how many pieces of rope can you cut out? All right, well, four meters. Well, I didn't. Four meters is the same as, um, well, centimeters, right? So we got meters, decameters, and then centimeters. So this appears to be 400 centimeters. Well, we're going to divide this up into 30 centimeter pieces. And this would end up being, so that was canceled out, 13.3 um, pieces. Now, you may notice the centimeters canceled out. Well, why do we have pieces? Because it was 30 centimeters for one piece. So using our fraction division, we would have reciprocated that and ended up with pieces. Now I assume you can't have a 0.3 repeating pieces, so if you wrote 13 pieces, that would be fine. Or 13 full pieces. Something like that.